Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will explain what to do in a case of neutropenic sepsis. As a house officer and ward, first, assess the patient. Review patient and ask them what happened. Usually they complain of fever. Besides fever, ask if there is any other symptoms, such as shortness of breath, lethargic, cough, vomiting, or loose stool. Perform physical examination. Listen for lung crepitation. Check for any desaturation or any sudden abdominal tenderness or guarding. Second, check their vital signs. Blood pressure, temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate. Usually vital signs have been checked by staff nurse before calling you to see the case. So check whether the parameters are normal or not. Third, always remember to read the patient's file to know their information and diagnosis. Check when was the last blood culture and sensitivity taken. The white cell count and absolute neutrophil count. And the current antibiotics. Know about the details before calling the medical officer on call. This is how you can inform your medical officer. I'm Hausman from Hamato Ward, there's a patient with fever. This morning's WCC result was 0.1 only. First fever episode since admission. Fifth, bring trolley and do septic workup, which includes full blood count, CRP, and blood C and S. Lastly, start antibiotics. Usually MO will start at least IV tazacin 4.5 grams STAT and QID. Initiation of antibiotics must be within 30 minutes from onset of fever. If patient was on tazacin for 5 to 6 days, but fever returned, add other antibiotic, or escalate to carbapenem. Can call specialist or hematologist on call for opinion. That's all for this video. Thank you.